Okay, here we go. We are rolling. Thanks everyone for clicking the video. Thanks for taking interest in what's going on with this channel. Um, I'm feeling courageous at the moment. I'm feeling at the ready. I'm feeling the need to get something off my chest and express something fully to everyone watching. And it's a fairly simple idea. I've said it many, many times before, but I want to go into a little more detail this time. So, listen, we live in a pathological culture. We live by diagnoses, don't we? And I feel unfortunately, unfortunately, that I may have sometimes in some ways attracted, I'm not going to say the wrong audience, but one that I don't quite resonate with as much as I would like. Because I'm not my mental illness. In fact, I fucking hate mental illness. Yeah. Yeah. I hate how we are constantly wearing the badge of honor saying that I suffer with this and I have major depressive disorder and I have generalized anxiety disorder as if to empower us and lift us up to a new plane of existence and reality. Ah, fuck it. I hate it. I've never done that and you all know Throughout the last seven years, ever, ever since I got that little piece of paper from my psychiatrist saying, Hey, Scott, take these pills. You have a chemical imbalance. It's called depression. One of the biggest lies I was ever told, but we can get into that later. You would think that would empower me somehow, but it didn't make me feel any better. It may help you make sense of what you're feeling, but that's not what it did for me. It never did. So let me... You know, I, I want to keep this as constructive and maybe even positive and motivating as possible by saying just something so simple. You are not your mental illness. You are not a diagnosis. You are far more than that, and that's what I would love for you to realize. I get it. We seek purpose, we seek community, we seek love, and by these labels, we can find community. We can find support. And we can actually identify with depression, and we can identify with anxiety. It holds us up, and sometimes it is a crutch to lean on. Maybe even as an excuse. Now, I know this is uncomfortable for people to hear, and some would label this video as stigmatizing. But... I've only made videos about things that I would have wanted to hear. And no one ever told me this, that I'm more than a diagnosis, that I'm more than depression. So if I get an email, you know, and, and meet someone, another advocate, it's like, hi, my name is so-and-so and I have depression. Hi, my name's so-and-so, yeah, I, I deal with generalized anxiety disorder. I don't give a fuck about your disorder. I want to know about you. Who are you? What are your interests? What are your dreams? What are your fears? What do you want to accomplish? What are you curious about? You think I give a damn about what some doctor gave you? Something from the DSM-5? Some list of mood disorders and you got one? What does that even mean? Have you questioned that? So the channel, Depression to Expression, is changing. It's never been about mental illness. When I say depression to expression, this has been my journey from being in a state of depression, feeling depressed, not as a mental illness, but just as a physical state of being depressed, of being compressed. And how do I express that? How do I share ideas with the world? How do I let people know what I'm thinking? How do I connect with other individuals on a deeper level? How do I move from depression to expression? How do I blossom? And unfortunately, you know, it's been deemed as a channel and advocacy around mental illness, and it's not. This is about taking control of your mental health and helping you realize that you are far more than a box of fucking pills. You are far more than a piece of paper that says you have this and this diagnosis. You are far more than that. I hope you realize it. Because there's so much beauty within you to be shared. There's so much talent within you to be shared. 
And you shouldn't be brought down by some label. You shouldn't be brought down by some illness. It's about taking control of our mental health. It's about reframing what we've been given, reframing our circumstances, reframing our perspectives, and taking control again. So what you're going to see in this channel from now on is something new. It's more tools on how to take control of your well-being. How to move from the state of depression to expression. We're not talking about mental illness. In fact, as I said, I hate mental illness. I fucking hate diagnosis. I hate it all. That's why I don't fit in with mental health advocates. I hate it all. But what I do love is you. As a human being, who you are, that is what I absolutely love. It's when someone contacts me asking for help. It's not helping with depression. Someone doesn't contact me and ask me how to help with anxiety. They reach out and say, listen, my life's a fucking mess. And that's brought on anxiety. How do we deal with life first? You don't deal with the disease. You don't deal with the illness. You deal with the person first. And that's what I don't like about advocacy. That's what I don't like without, with other YouTube channels. That's what I don't like about how mental health is being advertised. I'm, you know, you could think of me a rebel without a cause, but I think it's a really massive cause for people to gain their humanity back and not be brought down with a label. So I hope you stick around at Depression 2 Expression on YouTube. And if you didn't feel this video, that is okay. If a diagnosis has, has empowered you and made you make sense of the world and how you feel, then you keep that for as long as you need. No judgment here. But if you're looking to take control of mental health and seek new perspectives on how to deal with these things in the long term, feel free to stick around. Stay strong, everyone. Keep being you. And don't forget to express yourself.